Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Opinion Machine, the show where we talk about all things gaming. My name is Killjoy, and today I want to talk about Nintendo's 2020, how kind of weird it's been, obviously that, and what we've got so far, what we we don't know about, and kind of just like the way this year's been going, really. Um, yeah, it's been a strange one for Nintendo fans, I think. I think this year has been fairly lackluster. And even with all the rumours and stuff circulating in the moment, I think this is going to be one of those years where just not a lot happened. You know? So, Nintendo this year have put out a few games. We had Animal Crossing, we've had Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, we've had Paper Mario, The Origami King, 51 Worldwide Classics, and we know Pikmin 3 is coming. Now, if we look at the games we've already put out this year, Animal Crossing is very much a big franchise and it's fun for anyone of any age. It's definitely not a game for me. So that entire first three months of the year, there wasn't a huge amount to play, especially, you know, when their build-up was for Animal Crossing, which isn't really a problem because I don't mind the first sort of, you know, I would like something in March, but like January, February, you know, it doesn't matter too much. I've always got a back catalogue of things to play. So we get that, and then obviously we find out about Xenoblade Chronicles. I think we found out about that last year, and so I was hyped for that coming out in um, in the end of May when it did. So I had something to look forward to because I'd never played it before. So I was getting the best version of this game that everyone has talked about. So that's really cool. <clears throat> then we get like 51 Worldwide Classics, which is a weird sequel to a game that on on uh, the DS to a game that was uh, I can't remember what the what they were calling it, the family game selection, although it was like part of this like specific selection of games. And then, to be fair, the DS game was really, really good. And it turns out 51 Worldwide Classics, in my opinion, was pretty good as well. It's a very simple, basic game, but it does exactly what it needed to do. So those two games I was like really looking forward to and got those. And then we had Paper Mario The Origami King, which is a game I have not played and I do not intend to play it because I feel like they don't know what they're doing with Paper Mario anymore. They don't know what direction to take it in. And I would rather it was just a platformer rather than any of this weird like RPG stuff or just make it a proper RPG. But anyway, besides the point, these are the games we know about so far. We know that Pikmin 3 is coming in October. Now, obviously, we've had dealing with a pandemic for pretty much most of this year. So everything's kind of been thrown out. But it definitely feels like Nintendo's this year was going to be a weak one anyway. Because looking at... If we, if we look at what the rumours are at the moment for this 3D Mario collection of games that's meant to be coming out. So, we're in August right now. That leaves us September, October, November, December. We've got our October game, which is Pikmin 3. Bear in mind, I'm just talking first party at the moment. We've got Pikmin 3 on the way. Cool, so that fills your October slot pretty much the beginning of November. Because it comes out at the end of October. So you, you need something for at least for September and November. If it's to be believed that this Mario 3D collection is coming, then next month would be a good time for it. But maybe they hold it off for November for more of a holiday game. But yeah, apart from that, so I mean, those games themselves are what are going to be remastered. So two of your biggest games this year are remasters, and Pikmin 3 is a port. <laughs> I mean, technically, all the Mario games are ports as well, and so is Xenoblade. But like, you know, added. Added content in terms of like you know quality of life changes and all that for like remasters and things. So this year in general, so like, while I like the 3D Mario games, and if it if it does exist and it is coming out at some point, then I will probably buy it. But if you are a Nintendo fan this year that's played pretty much the entire back catalogue of Nintendo games, this is not a year for you. You know, it's there is a good selection of games that's come out, but nothing. You know, people might say that, like, Animal Crossing is their strongest one. Um, as for the other games, not so much. I mean, I might be missing out some games here that came out this year. I can't remember. I'm sure these are the big Nintendo ones, not including indies and things and not including third parties. But, yeah, it does beg the question, really. It's like, what? There's got to be one other game. If It can't just be a Mario collection and Pikmin 3 and that's it for the year. There needs to be something else. And I'm sure Nintendo does have something else up their sleeve. But that means going into 2021 is also going to be a weird year because I don't think we we might get one game between again in March. I doubt we're going to get anything in January or February, and I don't know what the rest of their year is going to look like. But they need to do something better than this year. 
if nothing else, just more information on stuff that's going to be coming. I would quite happily have Nintendo just say, hey, we've got these games planned for next year. And they go bang, bang, bang and drop three to four titles. They're like, hey, this is what we would like to get out next, uh, next year. You know, obviously there's still, we know of some games that are still coming to the platform. Metro Prime 4, which probably isn't coming out until 2022. Let's be real about that. Uh, Bayonetta 3, we still don't know, we haven't seen anything of it yet. Um, we know No More Heroes is coming, you know, it's technically not um, Nintendo, but generally ends up on Nintendo platforms first. So there's like three titles, we know Breath of the Wild 2 or whatever it's called is coming, hopefully next year. So we know that there's a, they've got stuff. And potentially 2021 could be a really good year for Nintendo. If they dropped Bayonetta 3, Breath of the Wild 2, and one other big game, like I think they could have a really, really good year. But uh, as it stands right now, we just don't know. And I know that there are, again, rumours circulating for Nintendo Direct, but when aren't there rumours circulating for Nintendo Direct? We, had a, we just had a really good indie world showcase. I really enjoyed that. That had some really cool games in it. Um, I really like what they do with the indie stuff, actually, when they go, here's 20 minutes of just indie games, show some gameplay, some really cool stuff. So now we need that again for for Nintendo's first party and third party stuff. We know that Doom Eternal's coming to Switch at some point, um, which is cool, and there will be other big third parties probably jumping on onto the Switch fairly in the, you know, in the next six months to a year anyway, so that's not too bad, but like, right now it feels a bit of a strange time uh, to be a Nintendo fan, really, in terms of what, what's coming out for me personally there's stuff like there's still stuff in the back catalog that i can go and play i don't have yoshi's crafted world um i don't have i don't have mario kart 8 deluxe so there is stuff for me to go and buy and, and enjoy and whatnot so i'm not too bothered by this weird time this weird like sort of not drought but like weird kind of time of not really knowing um so for me personally i'm like that's cool you know i will um be able to play stuff leading up into next year without a doubt with no problems but i would like to know what what's on the horizons and i know they're keeping stuff close to the chest and that's great and all but i would like something to look forward to like obviously the smash stuff is something else that i enjoy thoroughly and i'm really like and looking forward to when the next character gets shown off and things like that but right now like we nintendo really needs to show off a lot more than what they currently are doing um because next gen is getting closer and i know that stuff's it's gonna you know covid's kind of messed up the next gen launches a little bit, or at least it seems like that, potentially, has messed up those launches. Nintendo really needs to just push some bigger titles, I think, next year. If they want to fill in the gaps, then there are games that are, you, you guys probably know I would love to see a new F-Zero or a remaster of GX. Um, I'd love to see an Advance Wars games, and these are games that, that Nintendo, right now, with the way that the game series are selling on Switch, this is the perfect opportunity to bring back these games. Um, and, and other games that they've got where they've led, you know, so series that have been very dormant for a long time. Um, instead, they seem to focus on the same stuff, which is fair enough. But, like, man, what, what I would give for next year to be like, hey, here's Zelda, here's F Zero, here's Advance Wars, here's, you know, like, just bang, 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 just like massive heavy hitters. Um, Intelligent Systems, stop, watch stop, stop watching, stop making Paper Mario games, stop making Fire Emblem games, make an Advance Wars game, goddammit. But all in all, yeah, it's, it's a weird time. Um, really, it's weird Nintendo being so quiet on stuff and, and just sort of dropping stuff on Twitter and on YouTube and not really making a massive hoo-ha of certain uh, announcements like Paper Mario and like Pikmin. Which, you know, doesn't really say anything. You'd think normally something like that would be like, oh, we don't have the confidence in this product. But I don't think that's really the case. I think it's just we've got uh, things land at weird times. And that just happens to be the case with, with Pikmin and with Paper Mario. Where it was like, let's just drop this on Twitter and YouTube and, you know, we'll see how it goes from there. So, but yeah, I, I just want to kind of talk about this because I feel like... Nintendo really does need to, in uh, probably by the end of August, at least say some stuff, say some information about what's going on, give us some kind of idea, because every month that goes by, it's like, well, was it just going to be Pikmin 3? It can't just be Pikmin 3 for the end of the year, and that, like, again, is a port. There's got to be at least, like, if this Mario Collection is rumoured, then fair enough, but there needs to be, like, I, in my opinion, one other game. Whether that's a big or small game, I don't know, but I really do think they need something else that just isn't just Mario. But I think they might, they may just rely on that to get them through the end of this year and into next year. 
Anyway, thank you very much for listening and watching as always. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to see more content like this, then hit subscribe. Links for Facebook and Twitter are down below in the description as usual. And until next video, I will see you then.